Hi everyone. Ever wondered how to create a form for your clients to fill in either for onboarding or uh, new hardware requests, something like that, and have that updated ticket in order to ask. If that is of interest to you, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, Chris Tim here from Sundella Consulting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a form in the client portal in order to ask and link this into a ticket. So I get asked this all the time, you know, how, how do I go ahead and, and get my customers to fill in some information on a form, could be a, a web form, anything like that, and link that into order to ask. So of course you can do this with external forms, but there is the ability to do this actually directly from the client portal directly within order to ask. So let's go and take a look at how we would do this. So the very first place we want to start is we want to go into the admin module and then go into features and settings. So what we do is once we're in features and settings under the service desk area here, we want to create a new ticket category. So you can see we've already got one for new starter and onboarding, but I'm just going to go ahead and actually create, um, you know, m maybe I'm actually going to create an another new starter one. So let's just go, you know, new starter, or yeah, new starter. So what we can do is we make this ticket category here as a service request and the title we can just call this, you know, new starter or something like this. What you can then do is under the details tab, uh, you can see here you have the ability to create a new section and create a new user defined field. So let's create a new section and maybe we can just call this new user details or something to this effect. So you can see now what it'll do, um, right down here, just under the user defined field section, it creates this new user details section. I'm actually gonna drag this all the way to the top. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna create a new user defined field. So in here, I can create a new, so maybe this I'm going to call, um, you know, username, um, something like that. I think I may already have one in there, but I'm also going to tick this box that says, appears in client portal. Now this is something that's very, very important because we want this to actually appear inside the client portal so that when the clients actually select that, it's it's going to give them that, um, that user defined field. We can also change the type of field. In this case, we just want this to be a text field um, and very simply, okay, so it's already got one. So I'm just gonna call this username one, for example. And then I'm also gonna go create another user defined field. And maybe here I want to get, um, you know, information about maybe um, what their full name should be, or maybe, you know, what department they're in. So let's just call this department. Okay, and then um, I'm going to also tick this to say, and I think I may need to just call this department one as well. And then last but not least, we're gonna create another user defined field. And maybe here we're gonna say, you know, <clears throat> like services needed or something to that effect. And then this, I can make a, a list field. So what I'm gonna do, um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do is cancel this one and actually make it um, a multi-select list. And then I'm gonna create a new list and maybe call this, you know, they might need, uh, you know, access to Office 365. And then also need access to, um, uh, you know, maybe Azure. Your user may not necessarily know this, um, but anyway, this is the information of, you know, what, what information does this customer need? And we're gonna say appears in client portal. So this particular one, um, we won't be able to put into the client portal, but that's okay because this is actually something that we want to add later on. You know, what kind of services do we actually need um, when it comes to, um, uh, you know, to creating this ticket? So here you can see, here's all of our username uh, fields, all the, the UDFs that we selected. So what I'm gonna do is come back up to here to new user details. Make sure that this new user details is highlighted. So you can see by clicking on here, it goes blue. And what I can then do is to come into here and select, let's just select this username one, say make field visible. Um, and we want services needed, make field visible. And maybe we also wanted, um, you know, some other information. I think we had department in here somewhere as well. Um, 
nonetheless, we'll just put them into where we are. Oh, we've got department there already. So there's department, there's services needed. And then let's just put username one, make this visible. So what you'll see by having highlighted this at the top, when I make these fields visible, they automatically go into the section at the top. Okay, and if I save and try this ticket category, what you'll see here is that this will give us the ability to, um, to basically have these fields now in here. So you can see here's our new user details, services needed, so we can pick this information as we need it, um, the department. So this is basically sitting on the new ticket category. Now you're probably wondering at this point, what's the ticket category got to do with this? And actually all will be revealed as soon as we start to look at information about um, how to set this up on the client portal. If you're enjoying this content, I'd love it if you could give me a like and subscribe. It really does help um, the, the Google al algorithm to, uh, to, to push this up through, um, through Google. Um, I would really, really appreciate that if you're enjoying this video. So let's go and have a look at how we would actually do this in the client portal. So what we can do is again from the admin module, go into extensions and integrations and under client portal and task fire, we now have the ability to come into here and create what we call service request types. So under the service request types, now these are kind of very similar to what you're gonna get with um, you know, those ticket categories, but these are gonna be specific for the client portal. Uh, not quite sure why that's not working. Oh, there you go. It was just a little bit slow. Okay, so here you can see, here is our, our um, request type. So I'm gonna create a new request type at this point. And then I'm going to say, you know, maybe this is going to be for new user, something to that effect. And then it's going to ask me, um, you know, which, uh, which ticket category I want to use. So at this point, I'm now going to use this new starter ticket category. I'm also going to mark this as active. So all the way down the bottom here, I now have the ability to see these three fields that I actually had created um, before. So I'm going to just come in here and say, here's my username, my department. I seem to have all of them. So I'm actually just going to edit the ones that I don't want. So let's just not do department and let's not do username. Okay, so here's username one and department one and we're making those, um, those visible. Um, what I'm then going to do is simply go ahead and save and close this request type. What I can now do is if I go into the actual client portal itself, so I'm just gonna find the name of the company um, and you can always access the client portal in order task as a user by just going into the user's details, finding the contact information. And then from here under the contacts, you would simply click on the contacts name itself. And then under the client portal tab, there will be, you need to activate this first so that it then sends them an email. And then you'll have this option up here that says preview client portal. So when you click on preview client portal, this is now going to view the client portal as though um, this was that particular user. So once this opens up, what you'll be able to see is, is I'll be able to go in and select that request type when I create a new ticket and I'll have that information automatically then filled in um, and created within order task. Okay, so here we go. Um, if I simply click on new ticket, and then I, on the request type, I can select new user. Now this is me doing this as the customer, and I simply click on continue. And then from here, I can say, okay, I need a new user. So let's just go new user, new user. And then right down at the bottom, it's asking me that additional information. So I can say, you know, I need this for um, this particular user, and he's going to be in, you know, this location. So when I then click on save ticket, I need to actually fill this in as well. I can go ahead and save the ticket. Now, before we do this, you can obviously customize any of this. So you can have, you know, if it's a new user um, request, you can have that pre-filled in. You can have the description pre-filled in. You can remove the service uh, provider priority. So you can move things around and jig things around a little bit. You can also actually make these as required fields on the client portal um, as, as well. So I'm simply just gonna go ahead and say save. And what you'll see at this point, um, this will now create the ticket for me. 
And once the ticket is created in order task, I will then be able to actually see that stuff being filled in um, when, when I log into all the task. So let's go ahead and, ha and have a look. So here I can see, here is this ticket that's been created. I'm simply gonna go ahead and copy this. Here I can see the information that was entered. And if I just jump back into order task and go into the search function, and let's just go ahead and search for this ticket number. Oops, search for the ticket number. What you'll find is when I open up this ticket, there it is. I can see that this is now linked into the ticket category called new user or new starter. It's automatically got new user. And here are my user defined fields that have now been pre-filled in from that form uh, on the client portal. It's a really, really good way of kind of being able to customize your, your ticket category um, with the user um, information that you want making sure that you check that box when you create a user-defined field to be visible on the client portal. And, uh, and now you can see we also have the service needed. So now I can go, okay, well, I now know that Robin, you know, needs these details of whatever. So he's going to need to have, um, uh, you know, Azure and Office 365. So I can fill those in as well myself. And this is giving me the ability now when I send this over to the next team who's ever going to do this, those services um, and, and all of that information is already there. So this is a really, really good way if you wanted to use the client portal in order task, a really good way to kind of create a form and have your clients uh, fill that form in um, and, and, and have that updated ticket. So I, I hope that was useful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it. Again, if you can like and subscribe, it really does help me to, to make more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.